In this lesson, we are going to talk about the irregularities types. There are various types of irregularities in the buildings, depending on their location, but mainly they are divided in two groups, the plan irregularities and the vertical irregularities. The first type of vertical irregularities is the soft story. The soft story is one in which the lateral stiffness is less than 70% of the story above, or less than 80% of the average stiffness of the sea stories above. As the soft story is one of the most common causes of failure in the earthquakes, uh, where one level is weaker than the other levels, the column's sway mechanism can be developed with high local ductility demand. Under ductile response to earthquakes, high compressive strains should be expected from the combined effect of axial force and the bending moment. So that we need to check about the soft story in our model. First, go to the model explorer window, then expand the table windows branch, then analysis branch, then the results branch, then structure result branch. Now click on the story stiffness. As a result of that, a new table has opened up. As you can see, here is the story stiffness. Now I need to check if there are any soft story in our model for all seismic load cases. So that I am going to use an Excel sheet. First, right click on load cases, then select EX1. Now, in a stiffness X column, select all of these values, then Right click and choose copy. Go to the soft story sheet, then right click on the stiffness column and choose paste special. Here in this form select text, then click OK. Now the Excel has calculated the relative stiffness for each story and if it was less than 0.7, this means that the story is a soft story. Also, the Excel has compared the stiffness for each story to the average stiffness of the three stories above, and if it was less than 0.8, this means that the story is a soft story. So in that case, we need to do a dynamic analysis for the model. But as you can see, in our case, the model is regular in all stories. Also, we need to repeat that for EX2, EY1, and EY2. So I'm going to repeat these steps for the EY1. So right click on load cases. Then select EY1. Next, copy the stiffness column and paste it to the Excel sheet. So, as you can see, the model is also regular in EY1 direction. Also, you need to do this check for EX2 and EY2. The second type of vertical irregularities is the heavy story. Mass irregularity shall be considered to exist with the effective mass of any stories more than 150% of the effective mass of any story. And for the roof that is lighter than the floor below need not be considered. So back again to E-tabs, under the structure result, click on center of mass. Here are the masses in the X direction and in the Y direction. So select all values in these two columns. Then copy them, then go to the heavy story sheet, then right click and choose paste special, now choose text then ok. As you can see the Excel has calculated the relative masses and if value is less than 1.5 the story will be weight regularity and if it's more than 1.5 the story will be weight irregularity. So as you can see all stories in our model is regular. Now it is the end of our lesson, and in the next lesson I am going to talk about torsion irregularity. So hang on for that.